Of course, things are good, aren't they, for PSG? Take a look at how things stand in Ligue 1. They're going to win the championship. They are 13 points clear at the top of the table. And look, everybody's happy as well. Kylian Mbappe celebrating his birthday. The team all celebrating with him. Oh, look, it's a joke. He's signed till 2050. Oh. All is well with the world. <laughs> Wait a minute, though. <laughs> According to Keep, that is not the case. Uh, PSG, Paris secrets and, and gr is it grinding? So what, what, what's the kind of the headline here, Jules? Secrets and creakiness because uh. there is not everything is rosy, not everything is perfect. How much trouble is the club in? I don't think so much the club in itself and you're top mm. of the table in Ligue 1 win the league and, and you qualify for the last 16 of the Champions League and you've got a really tough tie coming up against Real Madrid but you're there and you belong there. The, there's a problem with Pochettino and we know that he wanted to leave, he wanted to go to Manchester United, the team is not playing well at all, especially considering the players that they have on the pitch, there's lack of identity, there's a lack of direction uh, and, and I think he's mostly to blame for that and certainly he's being blamed in France a lot for it. Uh, but there's also a bit of tensions, like as always, like, remember Thomas Tuchel saying a year ago, just before he was sacked, oh, this, there's so much politics in that club because it's Paris, because of the Qatari ownership, because of Leonardo, uh, because of the kind of a dressing room that it is with all those super egos, even more now that Messi has arrived too. So it's difficult. I can see why Pochettino is struggling. I'm still disappointing in, in why he's brought or not, not brought to the, to, the, to the team and to the club. But you could see why it's not rosy at all. What about these cliques that we're hearing about, Jules, that Neymar's spending more time with Messi now when he used to be Mbappe's friend? It all seems very playground politics, but obviously it seems to be affecting their performance on the pitch. Yeah, I I'm, not sure, I'm not sure about that one. I've, I've heard the same stories that L'Equipe wrote and the story about Maricardi and how that unsettled the dressing room a bit for what PSG allowed him to do when when he had those issues with his wife. Um, I think the clans, it, I mean, clans doesn't have to be a negative word, by the way. There's been, there's been groups of players getting on better with each other at Liverpool, with Stevie, uh, with Don everywhere he's been, and same with Shaka, West Ham, or Newcastle, or wherever. This is what happens in a dressing room. It's not a big group of 25. Uh, well, if it is at time, but you also have, of course, you have a better relationship with, with him and him more than with him and him. Uh, the thing is, it's true that Messi's arrival has changed the dynamic in the dressing room, of course. Of course he has, because he's Messi and as, as shy as he is, he's, he's, he's one of the GOATs. So, of course, this will change a few things in the dynamic that this dressing room had been, had been living before. But I don't, I don't believe this is a reason why they're not playing well on the pitch, why they have to wait the last 10 or 15 minutes to react and win games or get a point, which they've done more than any other teams in the big five leagues. I think, I think it goes beyond who is friend with who in that dressing room. This is really simple and it might sound simplistic, but it is really the truth. What, is, what, what Jules is saying about, yes, the, 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 there are always three or four or maybe even five different groups of people that hang about with each other more for different reasons, whether right. they stay around the same place or whatever. But the bottom line is, is it's the character of the, each individual. And, and the basic one is, if there's anybody in your team or in your dressing room who thinks that they're more important than anybody else, that's when you have the problem. And right now, you can tell that PSG have more than one in that dressing room who think they're more important than anybody else. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+.